what's up? Have you ever got a book or opened a tab? I just happened to got, get a book. This is the Beatles book, and I want to play a song of this book, right? And then you open it, or you open a tab, or whatever it is, and you're like, nobody I know, I want to play this song. And then you go, C, I know that chord. D minor 7, eh, I don't know that chord. G7, huh, B flat, D7, and all these chords I don't know. And then what happens? I really want to play this song. Okay, so I got to learn my D7, and then you spend like, I don't know, two days trying to learn that D7, right? And then a B flat, that's such a difficult chord. And then an A flat, ah, right? And then by the time you learn those chords, then you forget the chords you learned for the other song, right? So that was my approach, I don't know, my first 10 years from a guitar. But I want to show you a different approach that I teach inside of the Beginner Guitars Playbook. And it is, look how simple this is. What if we only play songs, play, not practice, play songs that only use the chords you feel comfortable with. Hmm, that makes sense. If you only choose songs from a list of chords that you all, that you feel comfortable, you should be able to play any one of those songs. Does that make sense? So let's just say you know how to play C, G, and D. Well, go to the website I share here, type that in, and it's going to spit out around, I don't know, 3,000 songs. The Joker is one of them. Super cool song, right? So from 3,000 songs, do you think there's going to be songs that you like in a list of 3,000 songs, popular songs? Probably yes. Okay, so that's step one of playing songs. A lot more logical. I never realized this. So I, I, I came up with this when teaching my students. I was like... Huh, what if we only use the chords that they know how to play? Huh. And then I found that website. The second thing I want you to understand is that songs, you do not have to memorize. It's this over here, that first chorus thing. Songs do not work like a poem. If you try to memorize a poem, although it has structure, you have to memorize every single line, right? So you got to go line one, line two, line three, line four. And it's very difficult. It's like three minutes of a poem. Super complicated. Songs work a little bit different. So, for example, song usually has an intro, a verse, a chorus, and sometimes a bridge. Those are like the four main things that a song can have. Many songs only have verses and choruses or intro, verse, and chorus. So let's say your song goes like this. Verse, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, chorus. That's your song, right? What's interesting is that inside of the verse, there's usually a chord sequence. So the chord sequence might be like G, C, D, C, right? That's your sequence. Some call me the space cowboy. That's my sequence. Some call me the gangster of And it repeats itself over and over and over, right? So you've got G, C, D, C over and over and over in the verse. Well, this is verse one. What happens to verse two? 99% of the time, verse one and verse two are going to be exactly the same. They sound different because of the lyrics, but as guitar players, we can play exactly the same thing. Cool. So this, we play times four for that song, and then we repeat it here again. Chorus. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say we chose the chords G, G, C, and D, right? In our website. What chords do you think are going to be in the chorus? Probably the same ones, okay? Maybe it starts with a C and then a, C, a D and then a C, whatever it is. But there's another sequence over here. Disclaimer, this is not the actual song. I'm just making things up, but this is how it works. So if that's a sequence for the chorus, what do you think is going to be happening on chorus two and chorus three? 
the exact same thing. So now you've got two sequences you've got to learn and boom, you can play the song. Doesn't that sound a lot easier than trying to memorize line by line by line by line by line by line. Now, you might be thinking, where do I change chords? Here's the tip. If your song, I did a video on this the other day. If your song is in a 4-4, four, four, right? It means you're, this we cross. It means we're counting to four. You've got four beats. You're either going to be changing on the one or on the three. 99% of the time. If your song is in a 3-4, which means we cross out that 4 again, we just count to 3, you're going to be changing chords on the 1. So, if your song is a 4-4, four, four, counts to 4, you can either change on the 1 and the 3, like here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, right? Or you're changing on the one on a three four. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the trick. It's that simple. Forget about the melody. Forget about everything. Find out the sequence for each one, each part of your song, and then count to four or count to three. Boom! And you'll be playing songs in no time. Again, this is inside of the Beginner Guitarist Playbook. Want to check it out?